everybody. So today I don't have my hair in a bun. It's in a ponytail. Isn't that a change for once? So today I will be going over my top five concealers. I already went over my top five foundations, so if you guys would like to see that, I will link that down below. So these are, there's one high-end, but the rest are all drugstore. I tend to gear more towards drugstore, like I said in my foundation video, just because it's just so much easier for me. Because, I mean, I go grocery shopping with my kids and I can just go right to the makeup. So that's usually what I do, and that's how I accumulate so much. It's like, oh, what's that? It's new. And I'm just like grabbing the new stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my favorite concealer. And this is a high-end brand. This is Bare Minerals Bare Skin. This concealer is such a good concealer. I personally have gone through six of these already. This is my sixth one right here. And I'm just going to show you the applicator. Hopefully it'll show you. It's, it's like a little paddle, I guess you would call it. I don't really know how to describe stuff. It's very... Let me just show you. It has great coverage. And it leaves your under eyes very bright. It's very brightening, but it doesn't like give you like a shimmer effect. But it's brightening, if that makes sense. Like, it's so nice. And... It is called their Complete Coverage Serum. It leaves your under eyes very moisturized. For those of you who have very dry eyes, I do. With dry eyes, most of the time, um, your concealer will crease under your eyes. I have dry like skin in general, and um, my foundation will crease a lot too. So finding a good foundation, which that video will be linked down below, is always good for me too. So this really moisturizes under my eyes it stays in place and that's what i love so much about this concealer it's twenty dollars but that's not that bad to me it's totally worth it and you get 0 0.20 fluid ounces my next favorite which is very comparable to the bare minerals bare skin i did make a video on this i'm not sure if i deleted it or not i actually deleted a lot of my videos because i was just like going crazy just deleting all of them for some reason but this one's by Ulta this is the full coverage concealer and this one's waterproof this one is so much like the bare minerals one it doesn't give you that brightening effect as much it does a little bit but not as much you can tell the difference but this is only nine dollars so if you don't want to splurge and spend that twenty dollars go out and buy this one and I'm serious like this this is in the color light cool. You get 0 0.08 fluid ounces, so it's not a lot, but um, it is like, I think this one's dried out now. I've used it so much. It has that same little paddle. It's a little bit skinnier. Let me just show you it on my hand. This one's more of like a pink undertone. The bare skin, the bare mineral one is more of like a yellow. So you can tell right off the bat which one's which. The coverage wise though, it's exactly the same. It is super moisturizing under your eyes in my opinion. It's not quite as moisturizing as, you know, the bare minerals one. But I mean, you are spending that extra money to get that quality um, like bare minerals is. But for a dupe, I mean, that one's so good. So my oldest wanted to join in on my video. What did you want to say in my video? You can say one thing and then you got to go back in there with daddy. You don't want to talk to them? You want to tell them thank you for subscribing to my mommy's channel? Thank you for subscribing to mommy's channel. You got to talk clearly, baby. I talk clearly. <laughs> say bye, everybody. Hi everyone. This next concealer isn't going to be a full coverage concealer like the last two. Those are full coverage. This one's more of a light. Um, it is the Wet n Wild Aluma Naughty. Like naughty, you know, you're being bad. Um, highlighting and concealing pin. This one's a very, very light coverage. However, it is super brightening. And I, I love those brightening ones because especially if you haven't gotten a lot of sleep or you have very dark circles. 
you want something that's brightening under your eyes as well as coverage but what you could do is use like a coverage a full coverage concealer at first and then go in with this like a little bit like a couple dots and then um, use a beauty blender or your finger however you do it but this one right here ooh that's a lot to show you so it's that one right there again it's not good for coverage but it is good for highlighting and brightening underneath your eyes I got the morphe concealer this one's in khaki and then I just tried out the photo focus concealer by wet n wild and I swear in my head I thought they were the exact same so I'm gonna try them out really fast and see because the morphe one has like this moussey consistency which to me I, I feel like the photo focus one did too no you know what no this is um so that one is the morphe and that is the photo focus um you notice the uh, morphe and the alta ones they have more of like the pink undertone and all the other three have more yellow my face is more neutral i do have yellow as well as pink so i can go either or okay so i guess they're not alike the morphe and this is the morphe one I got it right when I came out and I did a review and all that. Um, I will link that down below. Whatever reviews I have, I actually think I have reviews on most of these concealers. I'll link those down below too. Just so that you guys know more details about the, the products. Um, I actually... Let me try to blend it in. So, coverage-wise, the, um, the Wet n Wild Photogenic... Or, Photo... Photo Focus has a very good coverage um the morphe one uh, i don't really know Can, I, I don't know if it's because it's that moussey consistency it kind of just disappears now on oily skin i'm not sure how that would be on dry skin i feel like dry skin can go either or when it 